let's have a beautiful experience in this video we're going to talk about how being reborn can naturally raise your testosterone and make your penis bigger it's a beautiful thing you gotta love it all right before we get started here please do me a huge huge favor Please ring the bell. Give me the Earth of Fonzarelli. Yay! Like the video. Thank you so much. You know, subscribe. You know, make sure you guys follow me on my uh, Instagram and my social media. I go by Jesus underscore Detroit on Instagram, Snapchat. I'm Young Dago. And that's right. In this video, we're going to be talking about how being reborn can naturally raise your, tes your testosterone and your human growth hormones. And a quick disclaimer, this has nothing to do about religious, regardless of your background and anything. And you know what we're all about here in the BCC, the Big Cat Consciousness, the Big Cat Collective, where I can help you manifest a bigger, wider, thicker, longer, stronger, and harder penis, help you naturally raise testosterone and human growth hormone. And that's what we're all about here, man. And I tell you. Give me a you know rough start. I felt you know a, like a tongue twister saying testosterone, but now we got it going. We got a flow back. Got the Jesus part flowing, and like I'm saying, man, being reborn has you know more or less what you're doing on a day to day, entertaining the way that you can you know grow, and you gotta at least entertain the fact that all truths are true, and you gotta be able to look within you and understand that this is something you can do. So I want you to write down real quick that I am powerful, I can grow. And when you go with that, you're looking at it from a whole new playing field where you look at it from, you know, being reborn, essentially. And I know that might sound like woo-woo-wee, whatever, like why are you going all, like why do you guys say reborn when we're talking about growth? And this is all, you know, very inspired from this new moon that we got flowing through me. And we got, you know, I was watching something at the Dalai Lama talking about how um, the same body but being a new person. And that kind of really hit home with me. Just, you know, it was one of his, uh, his videos on saying the key to happiness. And, you know, I was like, that, that was like, it was uh, profound to me because... He's talking about being a new person essentially every moment and not getting in your own way of your ego. And, you know, that really correlates into everything that I'm about here. You know, I, you know, I, you know I got a big ego. And, you know, but more or less I'm, I'm enough to be detached from it to understand that there's something greater. I mean, I feel like, you know, an ego is kind of like a flavor on this beautiful dessert that we call Earth. And we're just like, you know, giving it our own spin and our own uniqueness that, you know, makes things, you know, beautiful. And there's nothing wrong with having an ego. Everybody's got one regardless of, you know, what you are. I mean, unless you would be, you'd have to be such a plain, just spiritually enlightened, just person, just omen on a mountain or something, just sitting there like, oh, all day long just doing nothing and it's like you know when you have an when you have a perspective on that there's something greater than you that's when you get away from the ego because the ego does mean edging god out and i told you we're not talking religion here even though i'm looking like the holy one right now and we're going with he I hope I didn't make anybody mad, but if I got you smiling, I'm doing something right. And that's what we're all about here, man. If you're smiling, you're at the, the, your best light. It's part of the divine. The smile is made in the mind. And any time that you can get out there and just spread love any which way that you can and smile and be able to just do something right, you're at your best light, man. And that's something worth sharing at any given time. And, you know, we're talking about being reborn. It's more or less getting out of that autopilot mindset that most everybody is in on a day-to-day. -day. And you're being reborn in the way that you want to create. And if you want to create growth, I'm taking it a step further than the Dalai Lama over here. I'm talking about changing your body. And yes, there's a whole bunch of collective beliefs to make you achieve, you know, bigger muscles. And there's collective beliefs to make you achieve a bigger penis and that's what we're about here man the bcc is you know that's one of my main intentions 
is to have you know multiple sources of you know entities and people and divine beings like yourself that believe that everything is here to make ourselves better and this is beyond what I already am and people have been trying to create you know and have been creating bigger penises since you know since the first time they seen them since the first time they seen it hanging down to their knees they thought you know what this <laughs> they thought you know it's a beautiful thing to have something bigger you know and that's what we're all about here making it as big as we can as big as it you need it to be and just more or less giving you the confidence to achieve everything and more and you know you know me you know I always got to preach the triple D and no, no, we ain't talking daters, dabbits, and drives, Guy Fieri. We're talking don't doubt your dick. I felt really inclined to just say that again. It's something that I love to preach and just really get inside you to say that. You never want to doubt what you have, man, because what you have is beautiful. I believe in your cock. I believe in your dick. I believe in your penis. You have a beautiful gift. And, yes, we could make it thick. We could make it grow. And that's what we're here to do. We got that flow. And, you know, you walk away and you understand that you're getting out of your own way today. And I'm going to entertain that I can grow. And when you really want more hands-on techniques, you know, to put the, you know, the action and the practice, you can hit me up in the BCC, you know, where we definitely help you achieve the best. Manifest the best. You know, I give you the techniques along the way, the super edging, the kegels, the jelking, and you know, a lot of these things been out for a long time, but I put my own spin on things and that's the way I find my win, you know, and that's what we're going with, you know, me and um what I what I found with pretty much anything that's out there is you're just finding your own way. And you know me, I do the Wu Wei flow. You know, I go with the you know path of least resistance. You know, along you know, along the way every day. It's a Tao practice. It feels really good to say. And yeah, I mean, you're just more or less finding yourself, and you're defining yourself that I can achieve anything. And when you're making yourself grow down there. And you at least believe that you can, you're going to see beautiful things happen. And I believe that, you know, whatever you want to achieve is possible. Um, more or less, I really, you know, my, my main intention here is for you to have the confidence. You know, I want you to be able to you know, be naked and be free, be able to get away from your clothes. Because sometimes, you know, that's, what you, that's where I feel, you know, we're, you know, more stripped down and we are in our own you know our own um, being is when you're naked and that's why I'm always naked doing these videos I always feel like it grounds me to the you know the connection of what we're saying here and more people that get naked um, the better off you're gonna be I, I always recommend that you should at least try to sleep naked it's gonna help you it's gonna give you that confidence boost and help you understand that there's a lot more going on down there than being trapped in your clothes because I feel a lot of people are more or less you know, uh, wrapped into their style and to their what they are, and they are excuse me, like more of um, you know their label than what they really are. Like even you know tattooed people, like they they uh, they call it a personality. Like it might be like you know, so what's your personality? Like tattooed, your tattoo that's a personality. I mean, to me, that's just uh, you know an expression of you know your of who you are just an outlet on your skin just like what you do with clothing but a lot of people use these things to be you know be everything and more and when you walk away from that that's where we're talking about being reborn and it's not you know you have to change it you know change your hair all that you know hair clothes all you know this is more or less getting out of your clothes and understanding that you know this is what we are man we're at we're at our um natural core when we're naked and you're not getting all you know you're not having the frequencies of your own fashion and your own things is kind of you know getting in your way and when you look at it like that i mean it's kind of you know it's a it's a beautiful thing and i always feel like when you're naked you're at as close to source as you can be and that's something that's worth doing every now and then you know every, i'm not saying that everybody out there should you know at least go try to go to a new, naked beach you know it feels great it feels right to me i feel that more places should be uh you know 
uh, publicly unattained that you can, you know, be naked at certain parks and certain areas. And I don't feel like there's anything wrong with your body. And, you know, the way so uh, society is... Uh, trained us is they made it make you feel like you know um ashamed of what you are and i don't want you know i just want to tell you that we're all from the stars man we are all divine we are all magic we are all beautiful write that down i am divine i am magic i am beautiful i am powerful and it's a beautiful thing to say and when you're naked it's just one of those reasons to just you know, look at yourself from a more, you know, neutral perspective where you're not just the, the clothing or um, the fashion. Even though, like, if you got tattoos or the way you do your hair, the way you do your nails, and, you know, you're still going to have, obviously, a part that was still, you know, uh, enhanced or uh, changed to fit your style, you know. And, you know, it's something that's all right, you know, entertain worth the while. I mean, we are here. We are, uh, you know, self-manifestation of our imagination and if you gotta you know do some certain things to make yourself feel right then by all means do it but you know you got people that act like uh you know um, that they you know they're doing a no makeup selfie and it's like you know you got your eyebrows wax you did you know you got all these fillers and res uh whatever and uh lubiderm in your face don't don't quote me on the right proper names but i don't have anything against any of that, you know, if that's what you got to do to make yourself feel better, then by all means do it. But I'm here to take more or less, uh, you know, a holistic approach, you might be able to say, you know, where you're able to, you know, find the divine is inside. And all this power that we have is already here to manifest the best. Like, you want to make, you know, beauty appear? You got to keep this clear. I always got to preach that every time. And I found the right inclination and in slot to just pop it in. And if you want to... If you want beauty to appear, you got to keep that mind clear. And a clear mind makes you clear for growth. It's helping you just, you know, be a conduit for everything that you need and more. And that's essentially what being reborn really is. You're just getting out of the, you're getting out of that path of uh, what you've been creating and just living every moment of your day. You're, that's why, you know, meditation practices are definitely something that are, highly advised by all kinds of gurus out there that will say that you got to be able to you know meditate and do certain things and you know i i find that meditation more or less is something that you're going to have to be able to find the time for on your own terms and you know you don't have to do it like there's no special technique to it it's more or less just being able to identify your thoughts as things and if you're able to do that anyways and entertain that all these thoughts that just might be floating around us at any given time. You know, it's like, are they mine? Are they yours? Whose are they? I, you know, you, all I know is we're a conduit for whatever we, you know, whatever we're saying is all, all being grabbed from the air. It's all in there somewhere. And I always just feel like we have the power to create beautiful thoughts. So whenever I'm somewhere, whenever I'm in that room, man, I'm always coming with love. You know, it's all, you know, it's all about spreading love and positivity any which way that you can. Always create a beautiful thought. You know, instead of just, you know, regurgitating these thoughts that we think are, are you know, we think they're our own. But realistically, we might as well just at least entertain that, you know what, let's create something beautiful today. Let's create some love today. Let's spread some positivity, some magic, and make people feel that anything is possible. So whenever I see anybody, if, you know, if you're sitting across from me in the room in traffic, if I see you at a store or wherever, I always intend on you to have a beautiful day, and I go along my way, and I just want to say, as long as I'm just, you know, creating them love bubbles, I'm doing something right, and I feel that if you're doing that, we're creating the world in a better light, and that might sound, you know, uh, you know, uh, profound to some, and it might sound crazy to others, but I just feel that it doesn't hurt to be able to do that. And the more love that you put out there, the more love comes back because you gotta start with you gotta start with them, and you gotta be able to you know of course express it without. And you know, like I say, man, if you want to smile at somebody, you gotta own it. You know, if you're gonna flex the grin, you gotta make sure you're going for the win. Don't just you know, don't just kind of you know be in a don't be like. Um, Basically, just make sure you're owning your smile. Don't just smile at somebody that doesn't want to see it 
or ask them, hey, why don't you smile? Don't do any of that. Just, you know, entertain, uh, entertain that they're feeling beautiful and they're going to feel beautiful today. Everything's made in here. And be along your way. And that's all you got to do to have a beautiful day. And, you know, that's what I feel with uh, happiness is just one of the keys to just making things, you know, um, more magical and beautiful. You know, and that's what I'm about here, man. Just making people feel that anything is possible. And you know that there's, uh, you know, when you smile, when you're putting this thing up, you are definitely, you know, making your mind and your brain. And you got all these science and co uh, collective beliefs that will agree the smile will make you achieve miracles. So write that down. The smile can make me, the smile achieves miracles. I'm open for a miracle. And that's what, that's what it's all about. If you're smiling, you're doing something right. You're definitely, you know, showing, you're shining that light. It's made inside the mind. You're a part of the divine. It's a beautiful thing. It's a gift to express. When it's, it's beautiful to express it any which way you can. And you know what? Get out there and just do something nice for somebody. Do something nice for yourself. Do something that makes you smile, man. Any which way that you're laughing or smiling. These are all the simple things that you're doing that you're doing right on a day to day. You're getting back to source. You're getting back to what we are. And when you entertain the fact that we got chakra systems, toroidal fields, all these other types of, you know. Uh, collective beliefs you could say that they are and I always just mean you know like I say man we got that third eye right there we got the crown up there the heart right there that supercharged center the penis is on the root all this stuff is felt beyond the body it's felt in the astral realms it's felt when you're sleeping when you're dreaming all that stuff is beyond the body and you know, you know, we're beyond we're beyond this beautiful avatar that we're in. And when you understand that we got you know magic in here, we can make this change. And being reborn every day, we are being birthed into the earth of what we want to create. And when we're going with that flow, we're gonna definitely intend to grow. We will grow, and it's gonna show. And that's why I always gotta say, you know, collective beliefs for growth are something that can help you achieve things. It's you know, what I tap into to help me, you know, manifest the best. And this is just more or less finding your own way along, you know, along the way. And when you're going with that, you know, um, you know, intention, you're being, you're being able to take certain ideas and, you know, mold it to you. Because all these other ideas, you know, they're, there's no more, you know, nobody's no more smarter than who you are. And I mean that with an open heart because, you know, of course people are more, you know, obviously like educated and stuff and that kind of nature and they have more mastery in certain angles and parts of what they have to show. And we can definitely learn a lot of things to, you know, help us grow and help us glow. And when we go with that, we're just talking about, Nobody is any more special than what you are because we have everything in us to do everything we need. It's just more or less getting out of your way and being able to see that. And that's why being reborn is something where you're giving yourself permission to just, you know, this, you're giving yourself permission to walk into your own light, into your own growth, into your own way of what you want to see. And you, you know, the, the universe is a reflection of the, you know, it's a reflection of the mind. It's a mirror. And if you want, you know, like I say, man, you want that beauty to appear, you keep it clear. And you want, you know, whatever you're doing on a day-to-day, -day, you're definitely seeing things that are coming from in here. And you might be like, how, like, well, then why does this keep happening to me? Why does that? You got to be able to step back, give yourself permission to be reborn today. I'm reborn every moment, every way. And, you know, that's what we're going with today. We're talking about, you know, being reborn for growth. We're talking about being reborn for love, being reborn for just every intention that you want to make come, in, you know, come into your life. That's what we're here to do. And if you guys definitely need any more, you know, help, I'm here for you. I'm a spiritual guide and a mentor, and I can definitely, you know, expand your mind and increase your size. And, you know, we can utilize the collective beliefs of other things to help us achieve. And we're going to definitely find our own flow to help us grow. And, you know, whatever is out there, like I said, man, if you're coming with energy, you're coming with love, you can do no wrong. These are the, these are the ways of the Tao. These are the ways of the life. 
and you know like I say man come with that love man it's really one of the most important things it really gets overlooked on a day to day any which way that you can get out there to just enjoy yourself I mean I went on a beautiful run today it's a you know a real uh, autumn day the foliage is there I was just able to have that you know sun was shining and you know barefoot just stomping on the leaves it's a beautiful thing you know and these are the things that you got to be able to just you know whatever makes a smile is really where where it's worth your while so get out there do something nice today do something nice for yourself go ahead and you know have a drink with yourself T say salute to the universe I don't condone drinking but you know what I mean I just condone any which way that you can uh, you know make yourself feel better because if you're smiling you're vi you're 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 at your best vibration anytime that you're um, laughing you're at your best vibration and anytime that you're spreading love you're at the great you know you you are that manifestation so with that uh, you know I intend on you guys to have a beautiful day I intend on you guys to do something beautiful in some kind of way and you know there's gonna be plenty more beautiful experiences to come so make sure you guys get at me on my social media you know check out my wolf my bear my kid C is always taking care of the neighborhood and there's a whole bunch of other type of segments and beautiful inspiration that's going to be there along the way and things that are intriguing. And like I say, man, make sure you guys give me that Arthur Fonzarelli thumbs up like if you like the video. So I say, hey, and like, you know, like Rocky Balboa says, hey, yo, I don't hear no bell. So make sure you ring the bell, you know, do that as well, you know, get on that social media. I intend on you guys to do some beautiful things. With that, I love you guys. You guys are beautiful. I'll be seeing you around. Peace.